Hello everybody! Time for the Medic tutorial finally! It's pretty weird, but probably the Medic was the class that got changed the most by Valve with one of their updates. I'm speaking of the Tale of Two Cities update, where he got the shield and the reviving feature they weren't present at the beginning. Just look at these upgrades I did, they pretty much explain your role as a Medic. You must overheal your allies to keep them alive, defend them with the shield to keep them alive, revive the dead ones and help them increase their damage output if you have the crit Creek I mean, or a shared canteen maybe. So first rule for the medic is that you are not really mandatory, mostly depends on the team you are playing with. Instead, always remember that MVM has only 6 slots for players and requires damage output. If one of you goes medic, this team shall need to be in condition to cope with the loss of DPS, damage per second. That's why if your team is average or sucks, you become incredibly useful because you avoid their death or revive them if too late. On the contrary, as long as your team is very skilled, your presence is not always needed. You can be 6 damaging classes all the time, buy some HP on kill, hope for a meal for conqueror for pesky moments and you're good to go without a medic. Now second rule, learn the ways, when real threats spawn. Here you can see we destroying the giant snipers with uber medics upstairs easily. Playing trap down would have been useless. Third rule, very basic. If you go crit scrape, help your demo man laying his trap at setup time always and charge at 100% your uber before round starts. It's so easy. Fourth rule, move and overheal everybody in your team. Don't poke it. They are trying to cope your lack of DPS, save them, give them more HP and your shield will charge faster and by moving you have less chance of being sniped or stabbed by a spy. Fifth rule, buy and max out shield upgrade as up. This way you create an almost invulnerability, very frequent. We'll discuss shield exception later though. Sixth rule, be smart. If you're keeping an uber so, take the opportunity of running for a tank buster or any wounded small boat, charge your medigan with a bunch of melees. Sometimes this tactic can work even against giants if you are in later waves with an uber canteen sharing, activate uber on a patient, then go meleeing for charging your medigan of choice for free. Seventh rule, choose your secondary wisely, the medigans. At 80% you end with the crit spray. But depending on the lack of skill of your team, you'll be able to go either routes, like Quick Fix or Vaccinator, or Medigan maybe. Let's start from the Quick Spree, the obvious choice. As soon as your team is capable of not dying at all times, this Medigan is the solution to your lack of damage as the sixth player. As you have seen, it must be coupled with the Uber Soul, as you gain free 100% charge for any buster roaming around with just 4 hits. That's applicable to all the medicans, of course, but really helpful for the crit screen. In fact, by doing so, you can unleash your crits to your patients very, very frequently, much more than waiting to recharge by healing. As you know, criticals grant triple damage. If you give those frequent enough, you can break even the lack of another damaging class instead of you. See? Another buster, another triple damage multiplier ready to grant your team for free. And don't forget, you are a damaging multiplier class, but also an overreeling machine and a shielding device, all in one. One under charge ready, again. That's why run speed upgrade may be worth picking for the medic for buster chasing. The only drawback of crits is that its uber does not protect you, but there is a shield for that. Holy million fire would harass you through that. That's not very important. And remember, in later waves you can spend a bit into canteen sharing and keep using the uber canteens. Those are even cheaper than crit canteens.
know that at the right moment a fully upgraded shield can block anything that is not melee or fire. You activate it with attack 3, the fault is mouse will click. Now, if the Chris Frig is agreed by most people being the perfect option for the MVM Medic, let's see if there are other viable options. Let's talk about a quick fix. Now things get subjected, but consider my point. As I told you already, the only moment you don't pick the crits is because your team can't sustain the horde and die, or if you want something different maybe. Thus, the quick fix can solve the problem. Check how fast I can revive some randoms. Quick fix backed up by some healing mastery becomes the insta-reviving machine. One second at most for reviving a 200 HP soldier, but we know Mega Heal Uber, else it would be instant. The only real problem with any medigan that's not a good squeak is question, how can I contribute to the damage? Two answers. First, by keeping teammates alive and firing almost every time. Second, by requiring to crits canteen sharing if the situation calls for it. In fact, I don't recommend spending too much in canteens with any class, ever. They are a crutch. It's like flushing dollars in the toilet. But, by not choosing the Chris Creed, it becomes pretty much a necessity, nonetheless. So far, where I'd recommend a quick fix, in a totally random team, with below than average skills, and a mission that do not require massive damage output maybe, you'll deal pretty nothing on your own. Let's watch this scenario. Seal trap, all gibbles almost, not even a money collector scout. Here, the quick fix can make the difference, in my opinion. Are you counting number of revives? That's where this secondary shines. Ok, now let's talk about the vaccinator. I don't like it very much, neither in vanilla nor in MVM playground. Still, its Uber is a totally different thing. It's split in four small two second chars. This gun has a fire and forget feeling. You don't think twice activating it. Yes, it can block almost any damage of a specific type, but it only lasts for two seconds each press, and I felt more comfortably just raising my shield, frankly. Yet, it has some advantages. For example, against many enemy pyros, it can be handy because nobody buys fire resistances nowadays. Then, it can block even crits of the type of damage you selected, provided your timing is adequate to block incoming damage, like you are seeing here. The most important advantage is that 2 second Uber seems perfect for insta-reviving. It's a fire forget device, as I told you. You'll use it pretty often to revive bad players. Now, the disadvantages. Its Ubers are too short and not really worth much benefit that a good shield couldn't offer already. And then it requires always full mental concentration from you to switch to the best damage type every time, all mission long. As to that, that MVM has often spam of bullets and blast at the same time, not the best scenario for Vaccinator. A genetic mega heal of the quick fix would be better. Unlike the Chris Craig, it doesn't do anything to help damage. You'll have to mandatory spam in sharing canteen upgrades and some crit canteens to balance out your lack of DPS, maybe. Last but not least, melee damage isn't reduced. Some waves can put the vaccinator to its knees, like in Demonite's Horde attacking you. Remember that you switch your damage type with the reload button. All in all, if you have bad teammates that die often, its four small Huber can feel well the insta-reviving scope but except for that, Ubers can be just seen as a gap filler until you have another reliable shield at your disposal again.
And now let's pass to the default Merrigan, the worst Merrigan for MVM to my eyes. Because contrary to stock Vanilla TF2, MVM does not require pushes or sentry busting. Thus, the 100% in Vool is not that required. You have just a shield capable for any Merrigan, if you want already, doing pretty much the same. I can see only disadvantages going Medigan instead of, let's say, Chris Frigg or Quick Fix. It heals a lot slower than Quick Fix. It has a slower reviving compared to Quick Fix or Vaccinator. It has a slower shield charging. It has a slower charge rate versus all. Its Uber does not grant killing anything, but only save you for 8 seconds, like could do the shield pretty much. In MVM, you don't need to destroy Sentinel Nest or advance to the victory. Damage done is the king. If you ask me, the only moment the Medigan is worth is maybe in broken parts and in boss. You can Uber a fully upgraded spy and sandwich the boss in between you and the spy. Some usefulness can be gathered if you have a very skilled pyro friend. Being an unstoppable duo can be fun, but they are niche tactics, and this guy is not for that. Anyway, for experienced players, it can be tasty trying something different. Just don't forget that this device is not designed for defensive purposes, I told you. Now, let's spend one minute, maybe, talking to the best primary choice, and 10 seconds about the best melee. About the primaries, if you're a good medic, you hardly use it. You'll be ready with shield that needs your medigan out and overheal the heck out of your team. Always. Serious MVM is not for battle medics. For primaries, your choice can be among either any surge gun or the crossbow. But among the surge guns, I'd avoid the blue soger because of what I said. If you hardly use it, why would you want to self it so badly then? Unacceptable. Rest of the Swedish guns are okay, the stock of the overdose. They even allow you to buy milk syringe, sort of a substitute for a scout maybe. At first it even seems a nice upgrade. But, as I told you, a good medic doesn't fire much. I'd seek milk medic worth only in very extra meta context for trying something really fresh. No scout and two medics maybe, not even for the average Joe. If you ask my opinion, I go with the crossbow, because you can deal a good one-shot damage and if you can save your teammates from afar, if you are lucky and with a good aim. Then, as promised, I spend 10 seconds about the best melee. If you follow my talk team now, you know already the answer, because the only viable option here is the Uber Zone. Because gaining free charges by swinging this damn thing to a sentry buster is priceless. Now that we have a clearer idea of what to equip and what not, let's see what upgrades are worth more and what less. To my eyes, the first choice would be the projectile shield. You can start with one point if you in cash, else you can already max out it from the beginning in some richer missions. Things to know about the shield, the second point gives faster recharge and a larger and wider shield. Shield can't block fire normally as I told you and you activate it with attack 3, the fault is mouse wheel click. On par with the shield is the healing mastery, substantially it increases your healing rate, max it gradually together with the shield, and by healing faster it revives faster, a lot, and even shield charging comes up faster, it's a mandatory upgrade like the shield. A second choice then is the overreal expert, Basically, it rises max overheal to the patients and let it decay slower. And its hidden benefit is that the longer you heal till topping every player, the faster you get your shield fully charged. It's a win-win solution for allies and your shield. Note, no need to max it, but one or two points upgrade are worth it. At this point, and even before, one should focus on its resistances and its running speed. 
resistance is above all, because you can revive others, but not yourself. You better protect you, max crit resist, if waves is filled of that type, and same applies for blasts or bullets. And that's why you use a HUD representing wave composition at setup time, stock allows it. If not, change it, it's a crucial info for MVM. And rising a bit running speed can let you catch the sentry buster when it passes by, your uber so will do the rest, you know. After your protection, you can get back at Medigan upgrades, they work the same for every type of Medigan. Honestly, I don't see much application for duration, but others like it. In waves with fewer buster, charge rate can be worth some cash. And then time to speak about the canteen specialist. Especially if you are not using Chris Krieg, you'll need sure canteen much sooner than later. With those Medigan, you'll buy crit canteens in the hope to help rise the global damage of your team. Instead, for the Chris Krieg, you better go Uber canteens, because your passion gets Uber, meanwhile you go swinging Uber so around. Note, canteens do not require beam contact after you activate them, you give the Uber and then switch to melee, and passion will stay with the effect for 5 seconds. A very important thing, when you upgrade canteen specialists, you better click accept then, and exit the window, if or anything. Only by doing so canteens will be discounted for their next purchase, after buying the canteen specialist, is it clear? Else you'll buy with full prices, thanks Gavin. And what about any other upgrades I didn't mention, they are junk to my eyes. This includes milk syringes, I told you how why already, fire resistance, HP regen, any primary melee upgrade, because it's not your role. The only exceptions, if you swing in the cache, are maybe Uberso swing speed to help you versus the busters, or jump hate or leave maps where it helps really escape threats, nothing else. So far guys, I think that's all for the medic. Remember, this is not a class required in every situation. Maybe the crit spam you'll observe in two cities forces many to believe he's a mandatory class, that's not true. That can be true for two cities maybe, and surely it does not apply to other tours, where cash is scarce and damage is king, like the Esper's one. Funny thing is, before even two cities tour was introduced, Medic was called a useless class in MVM. How could a shield and her revive function turn the tide of the battle for the Medic? Good job Bob, very good job. So guys, I hope you like it and find it useful. And thanks for watching.